And I said, well, I don't really care because number one, it's it's the the wisdom tooth way in the back. Oh. Number two, I'm already married. I'm not trying to impress anybody. <laughs> Hi, everyone. It is my privilege today to welcome Al Lewis. He has a list of accomplishments and experiences a mile long, but he summarized it to around 60 words. Impressive. Al is a CEO of Quizify. In collaboration with doctors at Harvard Medical School, Quizify teaches health literacy using a format best described as Jeopardy meets health education meets Comedy Central. The companion product, Quizify to Go, translates these learnings into a unique compilation of questions to ask the doctor, covering 115 common conditions, procedures, complaints, and drugs with an emphasis on diabetes. Well, welcome to the podcast. Well, thank you for having me on. Every time I hear you speak, um, I learn something new. So I am so glad that we were able to, to have you join us. So Welcome, 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 welcome. And given all that you know, instead of giving you a choice of just three questions, um, I wanna know what you can tell us, something that you've learned that's been so helpful to you that you tell everyone. Oh, well, um, I'm gonna give you an example from dental, okay? It turns out that uh, two thirds to three quarters of cavities don't actually have to be filled. There's an FDA approved topical solution that the dentist can put on this right on top of the cavity that it, it turns the decay black, but it, it solves the cavity. It, it fixes it. It's just the way a filling would, but it only takes uh, two minutes and costs about $35 and it's completely painless. We've been talking about this for years. And, and, and in, in Asia, for example, Hardly any dentists fill any cavities anymore. They do use this all over the place. Here, because it's so inexpensive and because it doesn't really require, frankly, any skill on the part of the dentist, you never hear about it. You have to ask for it. Now, we've been talking about this professionally for years. And then wouldn't you know, the other day, for the first time in, I don't know, 20 years, I got a cavity. <laughs> so I went into the dentist and the dentist said, well, we'll make an appointment we'll have it, uh, to have it drilled and filled. And I said, why don't we just use silver diamine fluoride? Well, there is this chill in the room, you know? <laughs> and she says, you know, it's going to turn the decay black. And I said, well, I don't really care because, number one, it's it's the, the wisdom tooth way in the back. Oh. Number two, I'm already married. I'm not trying to impress anybody. <laughs> so, so she didn't say fine, be that way. But you could tell that was she was thinking. <laughs> now, all of these dentists have this stuff in the back room. In fact, uh, one of the things we tell people in Quizify is you need to ask for it. And all the dentists will say they have in the back room. And we have testimonials right on Quizify that say, Al, it was exactly what you said. I asked for it. And they said, oh, yeah, but no one ever asked for that. Well, of course, nobody ever asked for that. It's your job to tell people. So in any event, she gets the stuff out, and I think, you know, I'm going to video this thing because it's just so unbelievable. I'm going to video it uh, and uh, and then put the video up. So, you know, I've got my head back. Remember, it's a back wisdom tooth. She's got the uh, – you, you put this stuff on a little you, – you, you, you put a little something called a micro brush in it. Or you, I'm sorry, you, you put one drop of this stuff on a micro brush, and you brush on the cavity. So I've got my phone, uh, well, you can't see it on a podcast, but so I've got the phone way out. My back, my, I, my head is back. I'm looking for the video thing. The procedure was so short, but that by the time I turned the video on, <laughs> she was done. You know, she was done. And, uh, and I got the bill. So, so I, I got that. I think I actually have a copy of the bill somewhere. Well, actually, you can't see it anyway because it's a podcast, but uh I got the bill. It was, and, and remember, things are way more expensive uh, here in Boston than they are at most places. It was $39. <laughs> it was not a covered benefit. So I paid the whole $39. Now, if I had simply gotten it filled, it would have been, I don't know, about $200. I would have had to pay half. So the covered filling would have cost almost three times as much as the uncovered silver diamond fluoride. 
So with a drill and fill filling, they might use Novocaine or they might not use Novocaine or they might put that topical Novocaine on, whether it's a shot or the, or the topical, and then they drill it and they fill it with a different material. The alternative is no Novocaine and paint over the cavity. Uh, yeah, you just, it's literally Thanks. one drop of this stuff. Al, I'm really glad that you could join us and I appreciate you sharing that there's an alternative to fillings. I was not aware, and I think our listeners will find this really useful. Thank you. Listeners, this podcast is brought to you by Nova Healthcare Administrators. At the end of the day, every Nova associate is driven to do what's right. We want what's best for our clients and their members, and we do a great job sharing what we learn with each other. Between our colleagues and business partners, like Al, we know a lot of kind, smart, and thoughtful people who we convince to share their tips with you. Don't forget to leave a review, give us a like or subscribe, but more importantly, share. We'll find the insiders, you share it with the outsiders. You can find our podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and pretty much wherever you're finding podcasts.